but we're really here to talk about public libraries. And ultimately, that's, that's where we work. Um, libraries are amazing places. If you actually go back in time and see how, how they were actually devised and all the rest of it, it was all about sharing knowledge. And it didn't really change much for a very long period of time. Until recently, with the advent of the internet, and especially Google and, and online um, structures such as uh, Trove and all the rest of it, you could do all your research at home. There's no real reason to be able to go out and, and, and do research in a library if you could do it in front of the TV in the comfort of your own home. And libraries are like incredibly adapted at trying to, uh, to move with the times. So there's this challenge, Google really I'm not sure about South Australia, but I know that there was a lot of talk at Vala this year about using search engines based on Google. So Google's kind of our friend, but at the same time it's this big threat because anyone walking around with a smartphone right now has access to pretty much more knowledge at their fingertips than they ever had before. Libraries just realized that they had to move into the digital age. And the first real step towards that was getting computers in and allowing people to get on the internet. And I think everyone in here has probably had an experience of someone coming in going, I want to check my email, or I want to use the internet. And that was a really interesting experiment and it was very successful at allowing people who didn't want to really invest in hardware or getting an, an internet account to find out what this new technology was all about. And that's very much something that, that's been built on with uh, what we're doing in the makerspace and, and what we're going to talk about today. So, you, you know, public computers, online di digital content, things like ebooks changed the, the game a little bit. Um, very popular where I'm at. I'm, again, I'm, I'm not going to talk for, for, for South Australia, but if anyone wants to jump in there and say, yes, a lot of people use ebooks, you can see that there's a trend moving, moving towards an, a downloadable uh, or a non physical uh, environment when it comes to, to technology. And in fact, libraries are built on that as well. You go into, into a library traditionally. You get a book, you don't talk to anyone, you read and you research, and then you go out and maybe one day you'll be able to get a chance to actually apply what you learned. It's, it's an incredible thing when you think about it, especially standing here today. So you don't, not really learning by actually taking it out in the world and practicing it. And that's kind of a, what a lot of this maker culture and maker spaces are really addressing now. Now in 2014, the Deloitte report was commissioned by the Australian government to look at the idea of the Australian maker movement. See, Australia has this incredible history when it comes to innovation. Basically, because we were so far away from the rest of the world, we had to innovate. 